In this video I'm going to show you how to fold a traditional model that is called the lily or sometimes the iris. Um, we're going to start with the color side up and fold horizontally in both directions. And then we're going to turn the paper over and fold vertically, um, diagonally I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not English, as you might tell by my accent. And open it up, and fold it diagonally again. And then, just by pushing like this, you can collapse it to a triangle with four flaps. So what we're next going to do with each of these flaps, we're going to do um, a squash fold. So basically you take this paper and you want to align this crease in the middle, the crease you've got on the top there, which basically guarantees that this kite shape you're folding is symmetrical. And you do that on all four flaps. So but this is the second, you might just want to fold this over so you can work on the next flap without being uh, annoyed by the stuff you've already folded. Right, so then you've got something like this and next we're going to do petal folds to fold kind of flap up so we're going to do some pre-creasing to make your life easier, what we're going to do is take this point, hold it to the crease, which basically means you're aligning like that, and do that on the other side. You can do this without pre-creasing, which is what I usually do, but um, this might be easier. So, crease it here, and then you open it, and this point is going to go way up there. And creases you've done down here, might have here. So this is what you get. Sorry, I'm just going to lie that down. And there you are. That's what you get. See this? Alright, show you that again. Fold this up, pre-creasing, fold this up, fold this up, pre-creasing, and then form the fold. And you do that on all four sides. It's the third one. And Sorry, I'm not doing the pre-creasing, but I do prefer doing it without pre-creasing. Um, you can try that too if you want to. Right, so this is what you get. And then we're just going to fold these flaps that we just created down. All four of them. This one too and this one. So we're now going to work on each of these flaps. What we're going to do, this is like the open side, turn it around, we're going to fold this edge to the central crease there, like so. 
do that on the other side. And this is what you get, All right? I'm going to do that on each of those flaps you did. And that's the third one. And finally, the last one. And we're almost done now. We're just going to shape the model now. So take a round pencil or something, and each of these um, flaps, I'm just going to turn around the pencil. Number one, take the second one, just curl it around so the paper kind of gets nicely shaped. A bit curly. And that's the fourth one. And here you are, you've got your lily.